everyone, Phoenix Knight here. Welcome to the channel. If you remember my last delivery product unboxing from, I think it was Wednesday night, as part of that delivery unboxing, I got America Bomber, Evil Queen of the Skies, Strategic Bombing of America, 1947-48 to 48 from Compass Games In, off of a gentleman off Board Game Geek. I actually got a decent, a pretty good deal for it, too, but... If you remember from me unboxing Defending America on the channel earlier, I think this month, this is this looks to be the other side of that game where now we're playing the America Bombers bombing the United States. So let's take a look at the back of the box and see what we've got here. Just to refresh our memory. We shall go out and bomb every city in America marked with stars in the Bat in the Batiker Guide. America Bomber Evil Queen of the Skies is a solitaire tactical level game which places you in command of a hypothetical yet historically based bomber aircraft during a frightening look at what might have been during World War II. Each turn consists of one sortie during which the player will fly a mission to bomb the mainland United States. As the player progresses, he may choose to upgrade to even more advanced bombers in this alternate history game. America Bomber is based on the popular action-packed B-17 Queen of the Skies system and pays homage to Glenn Frank's original system, but with streamlined routines and a few twists. It builds a strong narrative around the pilot as you look to earn skills, rise in rank through promotion, receive awards, and survive a dangerous year above America. The objective is to conduct numerous sorties in the role of a bomber pilot and rack up a high bombing percentage total. Pilots may use the experience gained to improve their odds of success by purchasing skills. Awards and technological advances via use of the research track help to narrate the player's eventual goal to become the scourge of America and end the war in Germany's favor. Gameplay moves quickly following a set sequence of events. Once you have your initial pilot and crew along with your assignment, play proceeds by checking for enemy aircraft along your path as you conduct your assigned mission to bomb a multitude of targets on the mainland United States. Combat consists of interception from U.S. carrier and land-based aircraft, and U.S. anti-aircraft guns posing a major threat when approaching the target. After bombing, the weather may play a factor during the landing procedure upon return to base. When the mission is complete, you will ascertain if any awards have been earned or experience points gained prior to your next sortie. So yeah, complexity at medium, one game is one mission, Map scale is area zone. You're a single aircraft for unit. Of course, number of players, one player, and solitaire suitability high. Average time to play, two to four hours, which is probably an entire career, and recommended age 14 plus. As we see, the designer, also Gregory Smith, John Cran project director John Kranz, game designer Bruce Yerian, and box cover design Bruce Yerian and Brian Miller. With that, let's turn this over and get into the box to see what all we've got in here. First thing we're greeted by is more plastic wrap inside the box, and I was a little bit nervous because it felt light for comfort. But I think we have everything in here. So we've got a nicely organized counter tray with all of the counters in here, including the 2D6 and a D10 scattered in. Hopefully I won't need more than that. I won't go through every single counter that's in the box. We've got the rule book, which, I'll give, which we'll give our cursory thumb through. The cardstock board, which I'm not completely sure I like, but we'll widen, we'll fold that out. Taking a quick look at that, looks like we lift, uh, lift off from Luftwaffe Azor's base. Apparently we have other targets in Europe, which surprises me a little bit, but we'll see what those look like. Then we've got our log sheet for the KG-300. And it appears to be... It appears to be a double-sided log sheet with April 1947 through July 1948 on the sheet. Then we've got our position chart, which is probably where the... Which is probably where... The, where the planes are coming at us. Because if you remember in Defending America, well, I haven't featured Defending America yet on the channel, but I remember in there when we're the fighters coming at the Germans on the, when we're coming at the bombers on this chart, now they'll be coming at us since we'll be the bombers this time. We've got 
the ME-364 America Bomber, and the HE-227, both of which are available at the start. Pilot and crew status, along with the research track. Not double-sided. I don't think the... Nope, the position chart wasn't double-sided either. And here it looks like we've got some of our contact sheets. So it looks like contact charts during each mission, during each mission period. So April to June, 1947. In the, okay, this is, so this is sorted by the dates and by the zones. So in zone, in zones two to four, you're not likely to have contact. That increase, that likelihood increases to zone, in zone five and zone six as well. So you've got April to June, July to September, October to December, and January to March. Okay, we've got skill effects, our various charts coming into play here. Then our random events chart, which will happen when the, which will happen with the uh, random events. Our raid chart where we're targeting for April to June, July to September, and this flips over to Oct for October to December and January to March. Looks like interception. Huh, okay. It seems, okay, wait a minute. Something's not right then. Hmm, I wonder if that's not supposed to be... I wonder if the breakout by the time periods and the zones might be a house rule. Roll once in each zone and twice in the target zone. Okay. Then we've got our damage charts and our damage subcharts. Which the... Okay. Okay, so the yellow rolls look like they are going to take you down to the damage subcharts for the total. And then aircraft damage listings, just detailing what they do. And what else do we have in here? Of course, I can't get my hands under it. More advanced bombers when they become available. Doesn't say anything about taking prestige points, but I imagine they will. That's the Arado E-555-1 America Bomber. And the TA-400 America Bomber. And here we've got the JU-390 America Bomber. And the FW-300 America Bomber, which is available at the start. So I think we can get all of that back in the box. I was panicking at first when I saw this, when I felt how light this was as I was going to move it around, but it feels, it feels like I've got everything in here. But we can get that back in and we'll give the rule book our cursory thumb through. Like in the cover art. Let me see if I can zoom in on this just a touch. I'm just checking my phone here for something. Okay. All right. Seems feels like a pretty short rule book. Okay, let me see if I can maybe zoom in on this just a touch. All right, details on the crew status sheet, playing pieces, and all the game markers. Looks like it'll play pretty similar to the Hunters or Defending America as well, so that'll be very helpful. Trying not to skip any pages. There we are. Okay. Atomic bombing missions, cool. Okay. Ooh. Okay. All 
right. And then we've got alternate history as well. And the rules index. So that's everything in the box with America Bomber, the evil queen of the skies. As far as what's coming up on the channel, we've got at least one more product unbox, one more deep product unboxing lined up for this weekend. Then for tomorrow, Mystical Munchies continues out of the official World of Warcraft cookbook with the entree, Crunchy Spider Surprise. Sunday, the fall campaign reaches its conclusion with the final scenario in Arkham Horror, the card game, Return to Dim Carcosa. And Wednesday, we're debuting a new game on the channel as we play, what are we, oh, Call to Adventure Epic Origins. Thank you for watching the video. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so you get my content. Be well, stay safe, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and I'll be back with more videos in the future. Until then, take care everyone.